Educational Philosophy of Buddhism Aims and Principles Buddhist education offered to impart education to all Many people shifted to Buddhist system of education It was for the first time in India that education was institutionalized on a large scale during Buddhist movement Aims and Principles It is also a historical fact that With the arrival of Buddhist era great international centers of education like Nalanda Takshashila Vikramshila Ballabi Odantapuri Nadia Amaravati Nagahalla and Sarnath were in prominence Educational centers in Buddha period developed in viharas and sanghas Aims of education to give up caste system to take the teachings of buddhism to the masses to leave yajna and sacrifices for achieving knowledge to provide education in the language of masses that is pali to emphasize the progress and development of the society rather than the individual to provide education through the new system which was stated by buddha aims of education The Buddhist educational aims were comprehensive based on knowledge, social development, occasional development, religious development and character development. The aims of education were as follows: to follow the moral values of Buddhist religion, to adopt good conduct and violence, to achieve the final goal of nirvana, to propagate Buddhism to eradicate vedic karmakanda or ritualism principles of education avidya that is ignorance must be removed through education as it is the root cause of all sufferings education should be provided in peaceful surroundings in buddhist monasteries viharas and organized educational institutions instead of gurukulas people should be educated in a democratic atmosphere things of luxury must be prohibited for students principles of education framed few commandments for the sudvi harika that is new entrant at the time of pabaja ceremony a ritual called as pabaja ritual was necessary for admission to a monastery for education Educational period for this phase was 12 years. After 20 years of age, upasampada ritual was performed to gain an entry into higher education. Rules for the second ceremony upasampada were also laid down. For inspiration, the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page by Agustin of Hippo.